What's up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, Boogie2988 coming at you live once again through the power of the internet. And it's that time of month again. It's loot crate time. Only we're going to do things a little different this month. Now, I personally love the basic loot crate. I think it's fairly inexpensive, uh, even though that means often the items that are inside it are fairly inexpensive as well. Sometimes they can just be trinkets. Uh, but a lot of people say they want higher quality stuff. So this month, we are going to take a look at the premium offers that Loot Crate offers. We'll open this crate and then we'll compare it to the premium offers that you can get. Uh, Loot Crate DX and Loot Wear. Loot Wear is basically their a la carte system. You don't even have to get a, like a basic Loot Crate or any other Loot Crate with it. You can just choose to get a shirt every month or you can get like socks every month or accessories. And we're gonna take a look at all five of these options in a second. Then for the big spenders out there, there is Loot Crate DX, which is a, a fairly hefty price tag but it's a pretty big box and generally has some crazy good premium items in it. I've never gotten one of these. This is my first one they've ever sent me, so I'm excited to open this one. Now, in order to give us a basis of comparison, we're going to crack open September's Loot Crate and breeze right through the items so that we can get to this more expensive stuff. The theme of this month's crate, by the way, was speed, so I don't know what's going to be in here. Uh, October's crate is predictably horror, so I'm hoping for some good scary shit out of that. Here is uh, this month's shirt. Again... These are sized to my wife and not me. Stark Moto Racing. Stark Industries. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, that's like from uh, Iron Man 2 or 3. I like that. Here's a collectible plastic figure for the month. This is a Loot Crate exclusive Cylon Raider from Battlestar Galactica. I never watched Battlestar Galactica. I really need to. Oh, this is a cool little Batman keychain. I know my wife's going to be excited about that. She's the bat freak in the house. Oh, it's literally the bat plane. I love that. Here you go. Catch. Here's some sort of collectible hood ornament. Oh, it's 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 Arrow from the Arrow Show. I guess you could have also gotten the Flash. I would rather have had the Flash, but pretty cool. Then there's some sort of Hot Wheels Matchbox car. Is it gone in 60 seconds? This is Eleanor. Man, I do love that movie. Then we've got uh, the pin. We got the book. And of course, we got this month's Mega Crate. And as usual, we never win the Mega Crate. Also, this month's crate turns into a car for some reason. So that's this month's crate, and you evaluate it however you want to. I personally thought it was pretty cool. Didn't really care about the Gone in 60 Seconds thing or the hood ornament. Loved the t-shirt, loved the key ring, though. Now let's check out Loot Wear. So the thing with Loot Wear is you can either get some of this or any of this. You can get any individual item. You could choose to get all five. You could choose to get one or three or two or four, however you want to do this. And uh, there's stuff that's definitely geared in here towards uh, female loot craters. There's some in here that are geared towards male loot craters. Oh my God, why doesn't this fit me? Oh my God, why does this not fit me? You probably cannot tell this from the camera, but this is not just a t-shirt. This is, wow, this is very high quality, kind of stretchy. I don't know if it's latex or what it is, but it looks gorgeous. Oh my God, I love this. Man, that is great. Honey, there you go. My wife is in the floor behind me playing with the dog right there. Hi. Hi. Here's a pair of what I guess is boy shorts, right? Or some sort of shorts. And there's a female Autobot on the bottom. Oh, here's a Nintendo licensed shirt. It's got the Nintendo seal of approval right on it. Uh, Mario Kart. Yeah, that is great. Blue Shell Victory. Love it. Then finally, here are the socks for the month. It looks like uh, Deadpool. I think those were in Loot Crate once before. And then Sonic... Oh, you're going to love the Sonic ones, I bet. Check that out. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, they're awesome. And so that's loot wear. You can basically, if you just like the shirts, you can get the shirts. If you just like the socks, you can get the socks. Or you can get the socks and the shirts, or you can get the shorts, however you want to do it. If you don't want the basic loot crate and you just like their nerdy shirts, there you go. Oh, but now, the piece de resistance, Loot Crate DX. Man, I've wanted one of these since they announced this program, and now I have one. Yay me. All right, there was the pin right on top. This one definitely is branded as speed. So same theme, just different stuff. Oh, man. Yeah, that is fucking sweet. Oh, man, look at that. All right, to begin with, this is not just cheap plastic. This has some real weight to it, like the real DeLorean did, because I think they were made out of steel, right? Ooh, but anyway, that is about as detailed as awesome of a figure I could have ever expected from Loot Crate. That is incredible. I mean, obviously, I'm a huge Back to the Future fan, so if you're not a huge Back to the Future fan, then I guess you would not appreciate this. But then again, you probably have no soul. Here's some sort of T-shirt for the month. And I 
don't know if this is a reference to anything. I think it's just a paper airplane on a high quality shirt. This shirt does feel like a bit of a higher quality than what you get in the basic loot crate as well. I don't know, weird shirt. Now this seems badass. This is an art book, coffee table book for Mad Max. It's the art from the Fury Road. Wow. Man, I love stuff like this. This is this is nice. I really, really like this. And then here's the biggest item. This is an Autobots style messenger bag. Damn, that is nice. I mean, don't get me wrong, I got a lot of bags, but I'm glad to add this one to it. And look, even the box is cooler. Look, it doesn't turn into a car or anything, but look at that cool print. Where we're going, we don't need roads. Hell yeah, love it. So those are the premium options for uh, Loot Crate now. I mean, you've got the basic box, the same one everybody gets every month with about 20, 25 bucks. I think Loot DX is about twice that price. But boy, do you get quality items out of it. And then if you're looking to spend just a certain amount and get a specific item, uh, you can do that with the loot wear. And I think all of that's pretty interesting stuff. In my initial impressions right now, I think that Loot Crate is a, a decent addition. I think a lot of the stuff there is maybe even geared a little bit towards a younger audience, whereas Loot DX is probably more for your adult who has a little bit of extra uh, income and wants to get really high quality items because literally everything in that DX box was high quality stuff with from the delirium figure which we already put on the shelf to the messenger bag to everything else pretty damn fantastic i think i'm probably going to add loot dx to my regular rotation moving forward but that's just my opinion i could be wrong i'd rather hear your opinion so let me know in the comments section below do you think loot dx is worth it do you think loot wear is worth it do you think regular loot crate is worth it are you interested in any of this stuff do you want to see me open these specific boxes again do you want me to try other stuff let me know I always love hearing your feedback. And if you want to get Loot Crate for yourself, including this month's uh, horror-themed stuff for October, order before the 19th, and if you use the link in the description box below, lootcrate.com slash boogie2988, and use coupon code boogie2988, I'll make some money, and you'll save some money, but no, you never have to do that. You can always just come back next month and watch me open mine, and boy, do I love opening this stuff for you, and I love sharing it with you guys. Thanks for watching. I love you very much, and I'll speak with you again very soon.